a friend of mine shares the following reflections of what that very first Easter must have been like. That very first Easter was not in a crowded worship space with singing and praising. On the very first Easter, the disciples were locked in their house. It was dangerous for them to come out. They were hopeful, but they were still afraid. They wanted to believe the good news that they had heard from the women, the ones who had actually experienced Jesus being raised. But it seemed too good to be true. They were living in a time of such despair, such fear. If they left their homes, their lives and the lives of their loved ones might be at risk. Could a miracle really have happened? Could life really have won out over death? Could this time of terror and fear really be coming to an end? Alone in their homes, they dared to believe that hope was possible, that that long night was over and morning was indeed breaking, that God's love was the most powerful of all, even though it didn't seem quite real. Not yet. Eventually, they were able to leave their homes when the fear and danger had subsided. And they went about celebrating and spreading the good news through their actions that Jesus was raised and love was the most powerful force on earth. This year, we might get to experience a taste of what that first Easter was like still in our homes, daring to believe that hope is on the horizon. Then, after a little while longer, when it is safe for all people, when it is a most loving choice, we will come out, gather together again, singing and shouting the good news that God brings life even out of death, and that love always has the final say. This year, we might get the closest taste that we have ever had of what that first Easter was like. Fear looking out into hope. Join us for our Easter celebration this Sunday at 11. Our Zoom worship link can be found at BethesdaPresbyterian.org. Some of the most amazing music you have ever heard awaits. We hope to see you.